this webinar on super smoothies. And uh, this is a very important part of uh, health and nutrition because uh, you want to be able to eat healthy. And if you're like me, you know, certain days are really busy. And rather than grabbing a snack or going for fast food, it's much better if you have a, um, a smoothie where you can depend on that uh, for a lot of your nutrition for the day. So I developed um, uh, smoothies uh, last year when I was uh, losing weight and um, I lost 30 pounds in 100 days and I, I wrote a book about it called The 100 Day Diet. And um, so uh, today I wanna share some of the smoothie secrets, why I use smoothies and what you can include in your smoothies uh, to be healthy. So what is a super smoothie? Well, it's a smoothie that has some added health benefits to it. And so uh, you wanna make sure that the smoothie's easy to make, it tastes good. That doesn't mean it has to have a lot of sugar in it, but you just wanna make sure it tastes good because you wanna look forward to uh, eating that each day. And actually I'm gonna tweak my recipe a little bit today to include some chocolate and some uh, peanut butter in it, some natural peanut butter. Uh, to, to use that for a base. You want it to be nutritious, so you want the vitamins and minerals in there, and we're gonna talk about that today, and you want uh, the smoothie to help you to keep a balanced diet. And if you're using a nutrition tracker, uh, like I use Carb Manager, you'll see when you enter the ingredients of the smoothie and group that into a meal, how important that is for your health on a daily basis. Now, I, I uh, use a smoothie at 11 a.m. each morning because I fast from 7 p.m. to 11 a.m. and that's called intermittent fasting. I practice the 16-8 uh, method, which means 16 hours of fasting, eight hours of eating. And then at 11, I can break my fast and there's no better way to break your fast than having a super smoothie. So it's a really good way to break your fast and uh, to get the nutrition you need to start your day. So what do I put in my smoothie? Well, I like putting berries in my smoothie. And I like to keep my smoothies lower carb. So berries are good because they have a lot of fiber and uh, lower amounts of sugar compared to other types of fruit. So berries like um, I would say raspberry, blackberry, those are really good berries. Uh, they're actually shown on this uh, image. If you're on our uh, webinar right now, you're gonna see this on the image or on the recording. On social media, you might not see my images here. So. Uh, you'll just have to um, kind of follow what I'm saying. But um, blackberries, raspberries, really good. Strawberries, good too. Uh, blueberries, I find it's hard to put blueberries in my smoothie because with the outer um, kind of uh, the skin, it doesn't blend very well for me. Your blender might be different than mine, but I don't like to put blueberries in mine. I use blackberries or raspberries primarily, and usually frozen ones. Uh, uh, they just keep in the freezer. You can use a small handful in the smoothie or you can measure how much you want to put in there. And then I add vitamins to my smoothies. Um, and the vitamins that I really um, think I need, the ones, they're seasonal sometimes like vitamin D. And I'm just going to show you guys, I have my smoothie bin here. And uh, so here's one of the products that I um, like to put into my smoothie and it's got uh, vitamin K, vitamin D, K2, uh, D3 and A in it. And I really like this because it's got the combination and I can use, I know five drops of this in my smoothie and it gives me these three key uh, vitamins. So um, you can get a dropper like that and you can drop some liquid vitamins into your, into your uh, smoothie. If you use pills and they're solid, they're not gonna work. But if they're capsules, they have powder inside, you can break apart the capsule and put it in a smoothie. Sometimes that makes the smoothie a little bit acidic. So that's the only thing you have to watch for is sometimes the taste can change based on that. You want to have healthy fats in your smoothie. I use fish oil, like omega-3 fatty acids. Um, you can use um, other types of fats or oils like this one, which is um, MCT oil and MCT oil is really good for a smoothie as well. Uh, it's a medium chain triglyceride oil, and this one is organic. So it's really good to get something like that. 
Make sure you check the ingredients the first time you're buying it. Make sure you get the best ingredients possible. Then once you screen out the products, you can keep reordering that. Uh, I order some of my products on something like Amazon, some of them directly from the manufacturer, and then some I just pick up at the store that I can trust. Fiber is important too. And for fiber, you might want to use something like um, something like these chia seeds. Uh, chia seeds are excellent sources of fiber uh, because they do swell up. They're kind of like these little pellets. And then when you eat them, they swell up as they absorb water. And I like to put mine in kind of towards the end of making the smoothie right on the top because if you put them in too early, you blend up your smoothie, they'll sink to the bottom and kind of get, they're too heavy then, they kind of sit at the bottom and they may not get into the smoothie. So I like to put mine right on the top and just a little bit because they'll expand uh, as they're being digested. So that's what I like to do. There's other things that I have here for fiber that I'll go over in a minute. So uh, you want to try to stick to liquids. You can use some sweeteners and if you're going to do that, I might have my sweetener in here. Yeah, I do. I've been using these um, stir sweeteners and um, I really like these to flavor my smoothies and uh, they have zero calories in them. Um, and I think it's xylitol that uh, is in here that, um, that sweetens it, but oh, stevia. So you want to have a natural sweetener in there, not an artificial one. Uh, try to stick to uh, xylitol. Uh, there's swerve. There's um, there's uh, different like malitol, different types of uh, different types of alcohol-based sweeteners. So check with your uh, healthcare provider. Check with your uh, local supplement store to find out what the best sweetener is. But this one. Um, this one has citric acid in it. It has stevia uh, as the sweetener. And so I really like this, uh, these stir products. They're a little bit on the pricey side, but they come five to a box. And then I order those from Amazon. Add a squirt of that into your smoothie to give it some flavor. I don't use greens right now, but greens are a good idea, again, to get the nutrition. Uh, here in this smoothie, they've obviously used some greens, could be spinach in there, could be a supplement, but adding some greens into your smoothie, important for nutrition and vitamins. It is something I'm going to look uh, into because I think it would be a good addition to my smoothie. Probiotics are good, and I like to get the ones that don't have to be refrigerated. So there are probiotics that are um, available and like this one, uh, Living Alchemy. And uh, you don't have to refrigerate that. Um, you, you can stay just in the bin with the other um, product. And then I like to take this out, take out a capsule of the probiotics, and then just break up that capsule uh, into the smoothie. So that's the way I do it. And probiotics are important for normal, uh, for normal gut health. So uh, very, um, very important to give your body the right, the good bacteria in the intestine versus the bad bacteria. So probiotics important. Here's a recipe that I'm going to try. Uh, it has natural peanut butter. So make sure you don't get hydrogenated oils in your peanut butter. So a natural peanut butter, cocoa powder. Sometimes I find with cocoa powder, I put it in a Ziploc bag like this, but it's pretty dusty. So just be careful with that. It tends to get all over your hands and stuff. Um, so maybe get one that you can scoop out of the container um, or you can handle very easily. So some cocoa powder, heavy cream, like whipping cream, almond milk, or I like macadamia milk. Uh, the sweetener could be the one I just showed you, the stir, and then some sea salt. And this is the smoothie base that I'm gonna move into. And I'm, I'm, what I'm gonna do is, continue to uh, retain um, some of the superfoods. So spirulina or blue-green algae is something I like to put in my smoothie because it's a superfood. And uh, this one's organic, it's very good. You don't need much in the, um, in the smoothie and it does turn the smoothie quite green. Uh, so I like that 
this is the stir, sorry, I misspelled it there, uh, to, to flavor the smoothie. Vitamin C, B complex, D and K. I showed you the one supplement I had. I put some vitamin C powder into my smoothie and a B complex. I have a capsule that I break apart and it has multiple B vitamins in it. I use pro, uh, hemp protein. So currently I'm using this product, uh, raw hemp protein. It's organic. Uh, you can get it at most stores. It's by um, uh, North Coast Naturals. So hopefully you have that in your area. Excellent product. It's got some good fiber in it too. And you can see inside I have the scoop in there. And then I just scoop out the um, hemp protein into the smoothie and it makes it blends easily. It actually tastes quite good and it has a lot of fiber in it uh, compared to some other protein supplements. The MCT oil, I showed you that. You can also also put a little bit of olive oil in the smoothie. That's okay. It's an omega-3 fatty acid, uh, monounsaturated fat. And you can also add a fish oil into your uh, supplement as well, into your smoothie. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's um, today's webinar on super smoothies. It's important for you to have the right amount of nutrition to be healthy. And in this 100 days, we're working on health, wealth, and happiness. So those three things, we want to be healthier, wealthier, and happier on day 100 versus day one. And uh, today we're on day 14 of our journey. And um, join me this Friday for happy hour. I'm going to be talking about how our week went, what we're looking forward to uh, the week ahead, some of the things we learned, like the smoothie a webinar today and some of the research I did on that. So uh, please join me this Friday for that um, for that uh, happy hour with Coach Kerry. It'll be around 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. And if you need some one-on-one -on -one help, go to our website. It's wealthhealthhappy.com. And then you can see all the services we have. I do all the coaching right now. I started the company. So if you sign up for coaching, I'm going to join you on the coaching call. I'll use Google Meet, which is what I prefer, or Zoom, or just call you on the phone. And I had a phone consult last week with a doctor starting his practice. Uh, so I, I helped uh, him with some tips. Um, and originally, I started True North to help health professionals uh, with their practices, and it kind of grew from there and expanded. So we help all people from all different uh, walks of life. And uh, so it all starts with a coaching session, either 15 minutes, 30 or 45 minute session to get started. And then we'll see what you need and kind of go from there. You can join us for webinars, which are free like this one, or master classes, which are follow ups to the free webinars. They're usually paid and they get a little more in depth into the uh, information and then some action steps you can take. We have these uh, webinars recorded on our website. So if you go to this uh, shop or the store function, uh, you're going to see the webinars. And I'll show you that in a second. Actually, I have our uh, website up on the screen uh, right behind this slide. And then um, we have a master pass now that you can get that it allows you to come to all the master classes. And there's a coaching option on um, one of the master passes. And then there's the workbook you can get in our store and follow along for the 100 days so you can make some changes. So I'm just going to, uh, let's see, I'm going to close my screen and I'm going to flip over to our website so you can see what I'm talking about. So let me just put that up on the screen. You won't see this on social media, but you're going to see this on, um, on our webinar. All right, here's my screen. This is the home page. And then if you go to the three dashes up here, you're going to see the different options. Uh, so for services, you'll see the different services we have to offer uh, for different uh, groups like health professionals, runners, marathoners, people who want to lose weight. Uh, we have um, events coming up. This will uh, include our free webinars and paid master classes. So you're going to see these listed, usually three or four in advance for the next week or two. Um, then what you'll see is the coaching tab right here. And if you click on that, uh, you'll be able to book a 15, 30 or 45 minute coaching session with me. I'd be happy to help you. Um, and then um, 
The next thing that I'm going to show you is uh, the master pass, which are the two options. You've got the weekly master pass, which includes the master classes, and you've got the master pass with coaching right here for $1.99 a week, which includes the one on one follow up. And then the last thing I want to show you is our blog. Well, actually, I want to show you one more thing after this, but our blog. These are all the uh, blog posts about our upcoming events. Sometimes the recordings, excuse me, I post them on the, on the uh, blog so you can watch them directly from our website, uh, put a YouTube link or an audio for our podcast. And then finally, uh, the shot function right here, if you go to that, what you're gonna see is, um, you're gonna see the different resources we have, like the workbooks, the books I've written, and then you're going to see also the videos down here that we recorded. Most are free, but some of them, like this last one we did on gold versus cryptocurrency, you can rent that one uh, because that's a master class. So thanks for joining me today, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope your journey is going really well, and I'll talk to you soon.